Listen, for those out there that's in the grind, man, and, and you in this music world, as you can see, it could be a roller coaster ride. Don't give up. You heard what he said. No matter what, though, it's not to give up. I'm and still looking 21. You feel me? So, so when was the last time you've been in the studio? Shit, a few days ago. Shit, I, I got some shit and I got some hard shit in the cut. I just don't want to just put everything out, like, you know, until I get the right situation or put the get the right shit in motion you feel me because it ain't you know i just want to just keep putting shit out for nothing man you you, you know how i get out though smurf you know my thing man i i i i just want to hear a quick eight or something right quick man i just want to hear a little something from the head let these motherfuckers know that murphy ain't no joke man it's still in the uh, building man the lanes is in the building man fig is sitting on the couch man young mont we right here fuck it i'm gonna just uh whatever come to here I got a gun pointed at the man in the mirror. Feel like I'm playing Russian roulette with my spirit. Knocking at the door, Lord, but don't nobody hear. Don't nobody hear. Is anybody here? Love don't live here. Got evicted from this building. I've been fighting demons like they one of my siblings. I've been known as Hennessy deep in my feelings. Deep in my feelings. Deep in my feelings. Sitting on the couch while I'm staring at the ceiling. Thinking of a way that I could make a hundred million. First thought was rob everybody in the building. On second thought, I can't do that to God's children. I give you my last, if you my dog. If you beefing, we beefing. We taking miles out of your car. You don't got to ask me. You know that I'm rolling. Mass on my face like I'm trying to fight COVID. I'm jumping out with it. If them boys pull us over, go to war for my soldier. Won't break the broker for no one. If I got a bag, I'm breaking bread with my dog. It's us against y'all. We ain't lose a draw. Ha, <laughs> ha. Yeah, nigga. Right here on the red couch, man. Me and Papa Smurf, man. Y'all heard what it is, man. Crack a bitch, man. Me and Air, man. Don't yeah, fuck yeah, around, yeah, yeah. man. Hey, so look, bro. Let's jump back into the P-I-M, P-I-N-G right quick. <laughs> when, you, when, you, when, you, when you left from Walker, a little situation to get down because your head wasn't right and you wasn't still where you were supposed to be. Right. So then you went on and resorted back to your street life. Right. That's when you was in Vegas. Uh, shit. I was in Vegas, but uh, I still stayed out here and shit. Like, you know, so I've just been doing my thing with the little hoes or whatever, you know, but, bro, nigga, you don't want to do the same shit forever, my nigga. You feel me? I'm curious. How many did you have in your stable, man? I mean, shit, I had it like five at one time, like two. Was, you know? was that was that hit, was that that stressing? Was that even more stress for the music stress that you was going through? No, was that stress was, dealing with five different characters? No, it was, it was fun to me. That's why I wasn't taking rapping serious. It was so fucking, all I got to do is get dressed fresh every day and get at bitches every day. Like, you know, I was like, fuck it, I can get mine this yeah, way. Yeah, I'm, I'm making I'm making more on, on Fig and I'm making on these motherfucking beats. So I'm like, I didn't take it seriously. You know what I'm saying? But, but God see that, though. He's like, nigga, I gave her opportunity and shit. So he's, he ain't, he's not bullshit, T V Land, because I can go back to, I believe, 20. I had just got fresh out from CRC. So it was like 2013, 2012, around right there. That's when I filmed it. We was at our spot on 84 with the homie Cato house. You know what I mean? At the gutter house, man. And I, I I used to stay on him because I this nigga shit was the shit, man. And he ain't bullshit. That nigga was so relaxed in his pimping. You know what I'm saying? The nigga was like, shit, OG. Shit, I'm, man, I'm getting mine. He was like, I, when I asked him, I said, what's your opinion about uh, gangster rap? He was like, man, fuck them niggas. Fuck gangster rap. Get man. your mom. <laughs> I, like, I didn't give a fuck about that. That's my opinion about that. I don't give a fuck what they talking about. Yeah, man. Going. So look, so it's you, you You start getting down on the track. How, how much time did you put in that? Six months, several months, a year? No, I put in some years in that shit. You feel me? But you know, I don't know. This you know, like this, give me a number, two, three. Shit, what was that? I, I, I did it for about four, five years, I think. Ooh, boy, you, you feel me? You were self-employed for about yeah, four, five hell years. Yeah, hell that yeah. was a good run. Man, boy. it was it was fun as fuck. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna say I I I'm, 
I stop. I'm stopped pepping because bitches still got to pay me. You feel? But I just don't want to deal with all that headache right now. I got my own spot. I don't want no bitch staying with me right now. So you know, as you, as you grow older, say a peace of mind is worth way more for one of you. Every little trap every night. Exactly. Right. 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 I, I don't need you now. So if you like bitches, like you got some real bread, you can come over and kick it for a minute or something. You feel me? But I don't want no bitch staying with me, my nigga. Yeah. I know how to make it happen myself. Got your own piece of space. Own, yeah, own peace of mind. Ain't nothing like a nigga putting his own oh, key in his door, man. Mm -hmm. Driving up in his own shit, man. Mm -hmm. Bring me my car. Where you at? Give me my shit. No, man. And I ain't rich, but I can still do what the fuck I want to do every day. I can go buy me a few fish, an uh, ounce, you feel me, and do what I want to do. Man, like so, that tip, man. You know. Like that tip. But it's time to turn up now. I got my uh, my oldest baby with me. She just came out here from Florida, so... That, that really been motivated a big old pimp to like my nigga stop it right now get your ass out here and do what god gave you the gift to do quit playing you feel me i ain't gonna lie my relative fm he been pushing me lately too and shit you know like nigga you too hard to just be just not putting shit out or doing nothing and you know and you know in the business that we, we chose to be in which is this music aspect of things this is all about timing as well right mm -hmm. so even though it's a young man's game, and you started as a young man as well in the game, but then you have grown to other levels to now where you you can foresee your mistakes. You can see what what you did right. that slowed you down. Uh -huh. So I'm 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 sure that when this man decided to give me that call, and as well as others, say, hey, it's on right now, man. I got that spark, and I'm finna go in. Uh -huh. Y'all get ready, man, because Papa gonna hit y'all upside the head mm -hmm. when he do drop something, man. Trust me. Oh, God. That's on my oh, word. My I know he's gonna drop something, man. And it's gonna be heated, man. So we can't wait, man. It, it was just a pleasure for me to better snatch him right quick, Likewise. man. Cause I've been on my young nigga, man. Like, hey, girl, if I need to get you over here in the ROE, man, I got to get you on the red couch. And as a matter of fact, this is my second exclusive interview on the red couch. I got OD Slim. Was my first interview on the red couch, and I got Papa Smurf in here, man. So this is a pleasure, man. You know, I'm in mean? honor. You know what I mean? Respect, loyalty, unity. We fuss with each other heavy. You know what I mean? Uh, I definitely got his best interest in the music world, man. And I, I want to see my boy shine, man, and get his his. If it ain't number one, good crown in the game, one good time, man. He deserved that. Right. You feel me? He deserved that. A good, a nice, good album with some good features on there. Right. Not that he need them. But because the, the boy's nice, you just heard it already right here on R.O.E. You heard how nice he is, man. But I, he deserved that, man. So I want to see my man. I want to see my boy blossom, man. So everybody out there, y'all heard the shout out. Y'all heard who he would like to collaborate with and do some writing. If not writing, nigga, y'all go on. We can jump on the track together, then, nigga. He get out with all five of the names he just named, man. Q, Snoop, uh, Mac One O, Double R, Ross, Ricky Ross. And who's my last? Uh, Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre, man. So y'all heard it right here live, man. ROE, man. Coming from the strip, you feel me? Uh, being able to monopolize, capitalize, mentally manipulate, stimulate a female's mind to the degree where she want to come get daddy that money. How do you feel about having daughters? I just feel like the daddy needs to be there to give him some game and shit. You feel me? Like, if, he, if, he, if your father in their life, they shouldn't have to ask a nigga for this. Or like, can you help me and shit? Get their daddy there. So even though I got my oldest daughter there, I still bring around my females that's doing with the hustle or whatever because I don't give a fuck. I ain't want to sugarcoat it or hide nothing from it. Exactly. This is me. I want to give you game. I love you to death. We smoke blunts together. This is my first baby. You feel me? But you're gonna get your ass up and work and shit. You feel me? I don't mind. I, I buy your car, you give you whatever, but I want to see you doing what you gotta do. You feel me? So it's up for the daddy to be there and you know, give her a game. Like, you know, you could be who you wanna be, like, but you can do all that shit you're talking about doing, but I did that and get me nowhere. You feel me? And what goes around comes around like a motherfucker. Karma, karma's a mother, karma's a bitch. So is it safe to say that you you wouldn't want to see any one of your daughters in that world at all, but of course not. The fact that you're so seasoned mentally and understanding the fact that a woman does have to survive with all means necessary. Yeah. So you, it's, it, it's kind of like, like you said, whatever whatever she would want to be or whatever she want to do, you will be supportive to that. But I'm sure 
not knowing that you lived that life, like you told her already, that yeah. it ain't gonna get you nowhere. You wouldn't want her to take that route. Yeah, right. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because you know, on TV land, you know, people hear stories and they hear things about what the hell. Yo, bitches like, oh, he a pimp. Oh, but how he a pimp and he got five kids? How would his kid? How would he feel about his kid? Well, it, like any uh, righteous man would feel, I would want my kids to take the path that I took to get where I'm at. So I'm sure any good, great pimp, a nigga that's pimped in the game, if he decide to have kids, then he know the rulings to that bitch. I'm not finna raise no bastard child. You right. feel me? I'm, I mean, I, and I don't have kid, uh, you know, kids with two of my females that worked with for me and shit. You know, but shit, I know motherfuckers say y'all should have kids by your hoes. You know, I did though. So shit. Oh, you cross, you cross over like. <laughs> Yeah, I did by two of them. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm paying them bitches. <laughs> now they pimping me. Fucking dirt bags. I did my father's food. You see, I had to look at you. You stuck me with that one. I, I had to look over to the other. And then he just say what I thought he said. Oh, now they pimping me, huh? <laughs> Oh shit, man! How hey. much you say we need, Mama? <laughs> oh damn! I just cast out one of them dirt bags on the way over here. That's crazy. Hey, <laughs> oh man! But shit. I still love it. I don't give a fuck. You know, it, it, it makes me who I am. Shit, you feel me? Yeah, and yeah. For all those out there, man, you know, for the '90s and in the, in the 2000 grind of the millennium, man, y'all heard some of my music in 2016, 2018 on Maxi Priest, man. My artist, the great late Max Priest, man. This was who on a few of the songs with us, man. I got Papa Smurf on there ripping shit up, man. You dirt bags. You heard what he said, you dirt bags. Dirt bags. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look here, man. We find a fly on up out of here, man. It's been a pleasure having Smurf here on the couch, man. And uh, y'all stay tuned for this good music, man, that he's about to drop on y'all, man. Y'all just stay tuned, man. Pop, is, it, is, it, is there anything out there, man? What is this that you would tell? I want you to give a message to the youngers out there, though, man, that's striving in the game. And, and, and what's your opinion on this drill music right quick before we float out of here? Uh, shit. I mean, I guess I love it if it's hard. Shit, put me on a feature. You feel me? Uh, drill music, I don't really listen to it like that. Like, I mean, I guess some of this shit hard. I, I mean, I, I really can't hate on the kids and shit, but my opinion for the youngest right now, uh, the, what I tell the young kids right now, I ain't gonna lie. If I was y'all, I'll stay in school, be a fucking nerd, and learn all I can learn so I can make more money than everybody, you know. Because at the end of the day, like the cool niggas, they be cool, but then you know the nerds, they making all the fucking money now. They got the, you know, they, they doctors, they lawyers, they all this shit. You feel me? So basically, we we need a lot of them to switch the game up. Everybody yeah. can't make it in the rap game. Nah, everybody can't. Everybody make gonna be a LeBron or or, or, or the, the great latest basketball player there nah, is right now. So. Nah. It's like we got to switch the game up, man. Right. We got to change this narrative, bro. And the game is about who worked the hardest, not who the hardest and shit. I mean, the best. Because, you know, niggas with the uh, a hard work, man, them niggas, they winning right now. You feel me? They winning like a motherfucker. Hmm. So. Hmm. Y'all heard what it is, man. Y'all know what it do, man. Y'all right here, man, live, man. We sitting on the Red Couch, man. ROE 2023, man. We just got it in, man. Exclusive, man. Sitting right here with Papa Smurf, man. Dibba Lane, Fig Newton. We right here, man. Shout out to the hood over there, man. Joe Dog, G Land. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mont, you know what it do. Mont, Ryder, what's up, homie? Yes, sir, man. So look, man, we about to breeze up out of here, man. Close this segment out. And again, man, I'm going to have to get him back in here, man. But I'm, I'm the next time y'all see we gonna, I'm going to have him in that booth back there, man. We finna get in here, man. Oh, yeah, get some shit done, here. man. You feel me? Yeah, because this the homie right here, man. I, I Next time you see us, hopefully we rich. You feel me? Because we finna make it happen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. So, yeah, man. Hey, y'all know what to do, man. Y'all already know my handle, man. The Mighty W. Watts. We are taught to survive. We out here.